Hey everybody, Young at Heart here again, and welcome to part two of Dark Souls Let's Play. Um, so I did skip a little bit of ahead and do a little bit of grinding um, in between these last two, and between the first episode and this one. Um, I didn't advance anything gameplay-wise. I just went out and just killed these bastards out here for a while. Uh, a bit of a development though. I did have my first death. So, I shall put it in the corner right now. Our yeah, little death counter. Um, I actually got invaded by a, another player. I forgot to mention the PvP aspect of this. When you're a human, you can't. Oh, what is happening right now? There we go. And this is the same goddamn guy that got me last time. Now. Oh, God, he's. Blood lost me. Oh god, I'm gonna get in. Yes! This time I'm free to kill him. Oh my god. So, because I killed him, I get humanity. Part of the PvP here. If you kill someone, you get um, humanity. Whether they uh, um, came to you or you came to them. Uh, the first time I got in, I actually got invaded twice um, during my riding trip. I got invaded by that guy once. He, um, that's the same guy that invaded me last time. He foolishly backflipped off the edge and died, which I thought was hilarious. He didn't. First thing he does is backflip. He tries to uh, do a jumping attack on me and backflip instead and died. Um, so this time I at least got to kill him legit. The second time, I absolutely got destroyed. The guy hit and killed me in about two minutes. So, that was quite... Um, so that was my first death. Now, we did also go by a nice little bow and arrow. Set from the merchant that's down here. Oh, jeez. So we actually might equip that now. I don't have it equipped. Do, do, do. But we didn't buy a sow. Oh, oh, this key from you. Never had. <laughs> now, this key is pointless until a certain part of the game where we can Thank free a, um, a sorcery um, teacher. He'll teach us to do some magic, so I would like to eventually. I, I do do like to do mostly hack and slash, but there are a couple of useful spells, so I do want to get that ability eventually. And I have lots of humanity now as well, which means I am a massive target for people trying to kill me. Lovely. <laughs> Summon this girl, little girl's crow. Sometimes the summoning doesn't work, as far as I'm aware. I don't know, they might have fixed it since the last time I played it on PlayStation. No, it still seems to be screwed. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's play, damn it. <laughs> okay, I haven't gone through here yet. Well, maybe I have. I don't know. 
No, I have, that's right. It's the other house I haven't been to yet. Now, when you are a spirit in somebody else's realm, you cannot heal. So if this person wants to heal, I actually have to heal myself. And you see her health goes back up as well. Now, the beauty is when she dies, she doesn't lose anything. She's only um, helping me in my world because when you help someone in your in their world, you get humanity. So that's all she's really doing this for. So. It's just to get extra humanity. You can only summon them for bosses as well. So because I haven't beaten the boss in this area, I'm able to summon her. If I beat the boss in this area, I can't summon people in this area again. And here is one of the harder enemies in the game. He drops a very good upgrading stat item, but he's incredibly hard to beat. And this person's going to try and backstab them. Oh my god, it worked. That's quite amazing. I'm doing no damage. Even backstabbing, I'm doing barely any damage. Oh, God. Okay, nice and easy. So we got Titan Chunk, that's uh, useful for upgrading later on in the game. And a tear stone ring. Thank you. Thank you. I can't remember if there's anything back down here. Do 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 do. do. Nope. Okay, so one of the one things I didn't do is check this house up here, damn it. I forgot. We can go down here and Ta So gold pine resin will make my um item magical. I have no idea what happened just then either. I've always tried to figure that out. Ah! Oh god. Don't worry little girl, I'll heal you. So... We have the option of going down here and facing... I think Havril, but he is extremely difficult. I don't know if Little Crow wants to try and do it. We'll see if she's coming down. Yeah, she's coming down with us. Maybe we will be able to do it with two people. I'm not sure. Now, Havril will pretty much kill me in one hit, so... Prepare to see a death count. Oh god, he's coming! Heal her. 
Oh shit! Let's see if we can sneak up behind him. That did nothing. Shit. Oh, that's me dead. Death click number two. Ah, oh, that's 3,000 souls I've lost as well. So you can see what I mean by annoying, um, yeah, one hit and that guy kills me at this point of the game. Lovely. So if you die while going to get back your stuff, die, and you lose it for good. Ah, oh, fuck. That just pisses me off. That just really pisses me off. Stupid, stupid me. Might be thinking, why go back and try and kill Havril? Well, he drops a really good ring. For all that, <laughs> uh, it just makes me able to equip a lot more stuff, which is very, very useful at this point. And I nearly jumped off the edge. Okay. So at least we got little girls to throw back. I think we'll just go straight to killing the boss this time. I not stupidly die by stupid means. I cannot believe. Okay, so the second guy we tried to summon, that failed. I think we moved too far away from him. Oh, and we'll see where she yeah, she wants to go up here. She's had enough of Avril as well. We shall come back to you, Avril. Okay, our first boss. Ooh! Lizard! 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 Yes! Okay, whatever that just said, I have no idea. That just appeared and too, I was too busy with on Lizard. Lizards give you uh, a lot of crafting items as well. 
Okay, so we need to kill this archer up here. So once we get rid of him, we can go up there. Well, this is happening. Let's equip some gold pine resin. Put our ring on. Okay, so now we'll do electricity damage. Very nice to have. And this big ass bastard. Oh! Ourselves. So thankfully this guy is really, really weak to thunder. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> Even better. And that's it. Get some nice souls for that as well. So yeah, little crow disappears the second we beat the boss. She is no longer needed. I cannot believe he fell off the edge. Like we we could have one more hit and he would have died, but that's just you know more fortunate he fell off. So traditionally the way to do it is a lot of people just come up here and then stab into his head. Which normally I do as well, but because I had little crow, girl crow's help, it wasn't really necessary. Okay, so, we're about to meet the giant red dragon, so the second I go through there, that dragon's going to appear. I don't want to see the dragon yet. <laughs> Get to go talk to Solaire! Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> so this guy is an NPC that we can summon during specific boss fights. He is OP as fuck. He really, really can take a whole lot of damage. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition if you have a moment. Yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be in, in a land brimming with hollows. So what do you say? Yes! It pleases me greatly. We are amidst strange beings in a strip. The flow of the very fabric wavers and relations so shift. So, the um, thing you just gave me is allows me to um, put down my own contact. But use this um, to summon one another as spirits cross the gaps between the worlds. And yeah, engage it puts me down my own sign so other people can of summon course, me. We are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brief. If you miss it, you must. Well, well thank you, brother. Well, I will stay there. The sun is a warrior. The second we run through, the dragon's gonna fly by and breathe fire, so we need to really quickly run, so... Leg it! Ah! No, 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 no! Ah! Shit! Shit! Oh, 
my god. And oh. So somebody appears to have invaded me. Because I can't get down there. God, that's annoying. Spirit guy, spirit guy, spirit guy. And bye bye. I'll tell you what we can do though is we are going to chop this dragon's tail off. And we're going to do so by using our brilliant bow and arrow. Now this is going to take a while, so I shall see you guys when it's done. That's why we had to kill the dragon. Uh, so when you kill it, you get when you chop off its tail. Sorry, you get the Drake sword. Now that dragon's completely useless to us now. We don't have to kill it, and in fact, we probably won't be able to for a long time in the game. But we got our nice little Drake sword. Unfortunately, we can't equip it. Our strength is not good enough. But, at least we've got it, and when our strength is big enough, we will use it to kill many, many people, which will be good. Okay, now the, now the fog's gone, we can go down here, kick the ladder down, and we have a shortcut back to the original place. Excellent. Okay, guys, we're going to end this episode here. So, like and subscribe. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, or you think I'm really bad at this game, let me know in the comments section below, and I will see you all next time. Bye!